So heat alert in our area that is up for your day tomorrow. That's through eight o'clock. Temperatures are going to feel like 100, and, uh, maybe 100 to 105, and we're going to get there very quickly. I'll show you that in just a moment. In addition to the heat, we have the potential for some stronger storms. We're in a one out of five. That's a marginal risk. Basically, the entire area for tomorrow and for Saturday. So we're going to watch some of these storms. Our greatest risk for severe weather would be in the form of some gusty winds. But as always with storms, you're going to have the heavy rain. You're going to have the potential for cloud to ground lightning strike. And on a hot day like tomorrow, if you hear the sound of thunder, I'm sure a lot of you will be out in bodies of water. Hear the sound of thunder close enough to be struck by lightning. So let's start with the feels like temperature and the heat part of this. So here's our forecast for right now. And these numbers, if you caught the beginning of the show, line up pretty well with what it actually is at the moment. So overnight, let me pause this. The coolest part of the day, 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. We're upper 70s, low 80s around the area at that time. Watch this. By 9, we're all the way up in the upper 90s to 100 degrees. By 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning. Noon, we're there across the board. Heat index value between that 100 to 105 range. Then we get into the afternoon. You see the colors changing? That is an indicator of some of those storms rolling through. So we may have a heat index of 100 in Millville. At the same time, have a heat index of 80 around Reading. It just depends on where these storms line up, but that's going to be the trend right on into tomorrow evening. So as we talk about the storm possibility, here's our brand new future cast, and I really like the way that this high resolution model is uh, is pointing things out. So we'll start out tomorrow morning generally dry. We'll have some low clouds, some areas of fog, but the first half of your day, I really don't see much in the way of any showers or storms. It's into the afternoon working in from the west to the east, not just pop up storms. So you folks out in our western zones, Maybe mid afternoon you'll start to see some of these, but look how bright these colors are cutting across the area during our five, six o'clock show tomorrow. We'll be tracking some storms, possibly some severe storms in the form of some gusty winds right along the I-95 Philadelphia area in that six to seven o'clock time frame, cutting through South Jersey, nine, 10 o'clock this time tomorrow night. Things will start to taper off, but we're going to repeat it again on Saturday. Now, in terms of any rainfall, you get under one of these heavier cells, you could pick up an inch of rain for our day tomorrow, and then watch on Saturday, the numbers tick up. We're going to do it again. So tomorrow and Saturday are going to be very similar. We'll go up to 94 tomorrow with those scattered storms, 85 down the shore, 90 for the Lehigh Valley. Down the shore locations, that's where you're going to get that relief, but we'll continue that a little bit cooler, but still very hot on Saturday. A little bit cooler, you can the upper 80s on Sunday, mm -hmm. but we will still have some storms that we're going to be tracking. Not as nice of a weekend as this last one was, that's for sure. But next week, drying things out just a bit.